Hello guys, this is uh, a little different than our normal episode. This was uh, so just some outtakes essentially, or I got a little, little portable recorder, recorded, interviewed the guys out in the woods. Um, this is an extras episode, not sure everyone cares, but I wanted to put it out there. Uh, probably a few nuggets in here. We all had a good time anyhow. Um, so you start with Jonathan, then we got Rom, Lee, and uh, Ben Revel at the end there. So. Four uh, little rundowns and some decks. These guys were not on the podcast, so uh, here a little different take from them. Thanks. Yeah, okay, we'll do an interview. Talk about your deck. Do this. All right, yeah. Pull up your log there. All right. All right. This is a new recording device. Hopefully, it works. Oh, it looks nice. Oh yeah, it looks fancy, right? It's James Bond. No, look at that thing. Oh, it's stereo too. Fancy. Oh yeah. It's good it's shit. Got we'll figure it out later. Hopefully, all this is works. But all right, John, what the? Uh, what do you plan today? What's uh? So I went to bring Gaia. Uh, I'm a creatureless deck. So no, no creatures. Uh, no. Um. Uh, and what I'm my strategy is I'm using the forces of nature, but not the force of nature because that's a creature. But uh, I have uh, cyclones. I have uh, hurricanes. Uh, I have drop of honey, using nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop uh, of honey is good. And then I, I'm, I'm trying to use Tron to do uh, for two things. What blessings do you got? Did you run any of uh, Oh, my blessing is uh, uh, the guy is millstone. No, no, so so uh, if you drop a, a artifact, you have to mill ten. Mill cards. ten, yeah. That's it. Just the one. Just the one. So you got a sixty card. Sixty card deck, and I'm set. old school. I'm not even. Um, I'm alpha to alliances because remember I don't know those cards. Right, right. So I was so like, whatever. Just, I just was. Just EC screw it. Yeah. I, I have no idea what's coming at me, uh, and there's all kinds of busted stuff that uh, Eric already threw on me. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So. So that's my strategy, and I'm using the mill to, to just draw faster. I've got four, um, so I, coupling it, so I have Tron. I'm, I'm using Tron to cast a stream of life, because it's nature, right? I need so, yeah. to, right? And, well, and you're, satisfying. all your shit's hitting everybody. Too. Right, exactly. I'm destroying everything. So I need the stream of life as my backup. So my primary is I have I have one mirror universe. I need I should probably nice. have two, but uh, <laughs> I don't you worry about one. milling it. What are the artifacts you get? Uh, and I want and a lotus. That's it. So, oh okay. Oh no no I'm sorry. A Feldon's cane. <laughs> so one Feldon's cane so I could get my cards back. Uh, oh, one mirror universe and one lotus uh, for speed. And so uh, I have four Sylvan libraries. So basically I just want to burn everything and burn myself and draw my. If I had more time, I would have also done the the, the Howling Mine, Gaia's Mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, I had to add 10 more cards, and I just, I'm going for it. I'm going 60. You minutes. got uh, uh, Stormseeker in there? Yep, four Stormseeker. Stormseeker. God, that thing just wrecked four me. Stormseeker. I was originally playing around with uh, Arborea, but it was too hard for me to, it was just a little too slow, so I went all in on direct damage. And I, I almost had Eric, but when you're playing green, you got to know, always keep the on one green untapped uh, for that fog because I, I tapped out he came in for like 17 or whatever it was and killed me it's like yeah and I had a I had two fogs in my hand so uh, that was on me that was on me yeah I just got burned hard by storm seeker <laughs> man storm seeker 11 yeah that was also my strategy right like clog you up I was originally going mana burn or mana destruction but I thought now nah, you know what me just wipe the board build your hand and just Double storm seeker. If I can get Tron, I can double storm seeker in, in one hand. It's just hard to get natural Tron, but uh, I do love the 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 plan. I mean, you're at sixty cards. That's way better than right. These guys high, running two hundred. Right, so. and and it's kind of like it's it's you'll find out very quickly if you're gonna die, and that's what I like about it. Like, yeah, I died very fast. <laughs> so I was like, it's doing its job. It's telling me very quickly. Do you you know? It's like some of those decks where you're like. It's bad enough, but you really, really try, and you're creative, and you hold on to it, and you think, maybe I have a good deck? Like, no, it was a terrible deck. You just got lucky. So this is telling me, like, very quickly. <laughs> You'll see. I, I don't know. That could definitely just wreck some stuff, dude. Cyclone's so cool. I'm I hoping. Love... I'm hoping, yeah. And, and Drop a, of Honey yeah. is a tough one to break. God, that, that's a tough one. That's a good combo, and because the only one is Hurricane. I wish it was, like, a land. that would I would love that, to just destroy all land creatures, because Eric ha- was... was 
I think he had. He says he has a hundred spitting slugs in his right, deck. Right, right, yeah. So he had about seven or eight in play that I destroyed with Drop of Honey, but they just kept coming back and kept coming back. So the thing with Drop of Honey is that now you'll drop like a little Llanowar Elf right in front of it, so that buys him around. So some time, or you like, do nothing until it goes away. But that's so. But that sets you back. I love Drop yeah. of Honey, but it, oh. it never does what I think it would. It seems like the most busted thing, but it just doesn't get there. It's sometimes. a little slow. I wish it was every upkeep. Cause then it would like mm. the abyss or something, or right? Is oh, that how the abyss works? Right. No, or, but, or no. It, yeah, yeah. But, Every upkeep would be totally worth it. Cause then it goes away. Once all the creatures are dead. Yeah, if it didn't go away, like the abyss, if it, if it just stayed there, out there. Oh, that'd be amazing. Forget about it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what I got, and we'll see. We'll see. I'm going full Gaia, right? Full right. nature. How, how'd you do on? Uh, what was your best sport of a good axe thrower, knife thrower? What would, axe. Uh, what? Yeah, I, we didn't do the uh, the knives. Yeah, knives got the suck, knives man. They're weren't tough. working. I even yeah. hit him in the head, and it just bounced off of him. Yeah, you gotta. But dude, when it sticks, you whip a knife really hard, and it just catches him in the throat. It feels great. That's like what you I need really, to do. Yeah, it really meant to and do that. And they're those like nin Naruto knives, like those ninja ones. You kind of throw like that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe I have to look into some of those. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, good luck. Great. Thank you. All right. Here. Yeah. And up. oh, it was. There we go. All right, we're live. All right, we're on. Welcome to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for kicking my ass round one. Uh, yeah, I feel like I owed it to you because you uh, you destroyed me at axe throwing. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you brought your own axes. Yeah, to, yeah. Thought it was. I was really intimidated. That's my whole gig too, man. I feel. I always. I never show up when it's when the pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get to. We'll, we'll decide who goes first in round two here in a second. A couple more gonsters. A <laughs> couple more gonsters. You'll be you'll be throwing them at people. No, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, literally my wife's like, you can't have all these weapons out here when everyone's over drinking. I'm like, that's why I'm yeah, making yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm the like, funnest way. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the point of it. We must be all sober and throw axes. Yeah. All right. Well, tell us about your deck. First of all, what uh, what are your blessings you're running? That gives an idea what you're up against. Uh, I'm running Decay. I think I'm the only one aside from you because you're playing all of them. I think I'm the only person running Decay. Maybe I'm wrong about that. but Decay, Decay is the black one that yeah, makes Decay you start at 15. One. Yep. And... uh. How, because I got a punish your hand size strategy, I think a lot of people are hip to that one. And uh, I'm running peace sign and thorns to protect from the forest walk and to just have an extra couple cards. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's pretty boring, uh, straightforward stompy deck with a little bit of reanimator flare in it. Yeah, Ben just pointed out the how good uh, freaking Urnum is. Mm. Because it gives something force walk, yeah. so then if that thing attacks you, yeah, you can they you can, can attack, burn them for the damage of oh, uh, of a force walk attacking you. I didn't even think of how that yeah. those interact. That's pretty smart. Yeah. He might be the only one playing it. And yeah, it was our idea. Yeah, I didn't have any earnings, but I maybe would have put him in there. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty solid play. Yeah. Yeah, our game one, I realized how bad Orcish Librarian is. Yeah. I, I just hadn't read that card in freaking 20 years, and I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. I just Random. read it. I read it Random. the other day, and I was like, oh, because uh, I love the art, and I read it, and I was like, yeah, that's cool. Well, I don't know. It is kind of busted if you look at the top eight, pick four, and put them yeah. back in any order. I, yeah. I get it now, but yeah. whatever. The art's worth it. Yeah, art's so. worth it. Yep. Uh, yeah, what, uh, Stormseeker is an all-star. For that, sure. That son of a bitch. Yeah, and you know the black vice was wrecking me too. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I counteracted the black vice with the uh, ivory tower, and then yeah. you just I'm got rid of that. I'm packing and... crumble. I didn't have crumbles into my deck <sighs> until yesterday, and I'm basically packing crumbles specifically for ivory tower because if somebody's got an ivory tower out, I'm not gonna win. Is pretty much it. Also, though, I'm not gonna win if you get a time vault out and uh, yeah, <laughs> and Elder, Druid. Druid. <laughs> Elder Druid time vault. I got that game too. It was my only win there. Yeah. But yep. infinite turns when you're mm -hmm. tapped out, that works, man. But you had yeah. double maze. There was no way getting around it. I was yeah. like, because I had a plan in my mind. I was gonna tap one of your two mazes, er, one of your mazes. Yeah. And I could get through, and then you, then you fucking played a second one. And if, uh, if you wouldn't have had Crossroads out, I would have had one more turn, I think. Yeah. And then I would have been able to crumble crumble it, but yeah, Crossroads slug into slug yeah. into Curd Ape was pretty a solid turn. Slugs so. are awesome. I love to see so many slugs in the in the format. That's cool. Well, I got to run the whole gauntlet, be guy's bitch for the slug yeah. to tap her mana. But so once they tap her mana, then it's worth the. Are you the biggest deck? Is that the is the no, Eric's got a bigger deck, but I, I, he's not running all the curse or yeah, all the uh, blessings. Okay. Yeah. So, 
I got lucky that one and didn't have to play that blue one. I'm not looking forward to that blue. Every every card you play, you got to roll a dice. And I'm no, I was looking out for counter spells the whole time. I thought you were going to be packing a um, packing some counter spells, and I was worried about that. Which is one of the main when I when I picked your blessings to get rid of your um, whatever the drawbacks to get rid of. I picked the blue one and the black one, which is bad for me. Nah, yeah, that's all right. But yeah, I'm actually running uh, Field of Dreams. And um, oh, cool! <laughs> Field of Dreams with what's it called? I always forget the name of it. Hang on, look it up. Oh, Thought Lash. Oh, so Thought okay. Lash, you can exile the top card mm -hmm. to prevent a point of any oh, damage. It's, art's sick. The greatest art ever. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's dope. I've never seen that card. So yeah, so for zero, you can remove the top card. So if you can see the top card, you can remove till you get to what you want. Oh. So that way, I can search for the Time Vault combo yep. with that plus Field of Dreams. Yep. For the Concordant Crossroads, I can kind of like get into it from out of nowhere. Just sort of dial down. Hopefully, you hit something, draw a card, boom. Um, I don't know if I'll pull that off today, but well, whatever. you got the combo. Out um, for it's me. yeah, I, I got more combos in my bullshit 200 card deck. Here, I want to show you um, my cool deck photo. Oh damn! <laughs> what is the carcass of? It's a, I think it's a deer carcass I found in the woods, but it looks like a little heavier than a deer carcass. I can't really tell. It would be a big coyote if that's what it is. But. Yeah, that's a, that's a chubacabra, coyotes. dude. Yeah, if I ever saw one, that's a chubacabra <laughs> carcass if I've ever yeah, seen one. It could be. Or a skinwalker. Yeah. That's what, uh, I've had I, some crazy shit in my backyard recently. I hadn't heard of I didn't know a skinwalker was a thing, but then when we got our dog, all the kids yeah. say he looks like a skinwalker. And he kind of did, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's a, yeah, you're probably going to get the deck photo award. I don't well, know. Good. <laughs> I might have to go make one. Yeah. That is cool, dude. You get, make sure you send us that. Cause yeah, I will. I'm hoping to, uh, we'll do a, podcast that's worth watching and then we'll throw all this non-visual oh, yeah. stuff at the end i think people would really enjoy seeing all the deck builds because they're really fun yeah this is a cool event it's uh it's awesome it's pretty wild yep it's gonna it's moving a little slow though yeah. i think we're on like <laughs> hour, <laughs> can't come up on two hours for one round but um valid fog is uh, slowing us down yeah valid fog for sure all right man well good luck at the next yep. one we'll Thanks. see if we can wrap these up yep. all right oh yeah if you're uh, i don't know if you smoke cigars but i rolled some last night. all right there we go. All right, Lee. We're live. This is our recorder here. All right. So yeah, just uh, tell us about what what blessings you're playing and how's your day been going so far. What's your deck all about? Give us some insight. Uh, I'm playing. Let me go look. At, I gotta put, go yeah. grab them real quick because I can't yeah. remember the names. And, and this is your first time on a podcast, so this is really important. I mean, this is a big I moment. You I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, you can stop shaking and stuttering and all that. It's uh, it's not too bad. We've got a couple. All right, I'm I'm playing the Mill Ten for artifacts. Yeah. The Howling Mine, the Forest Walk, uh, Lightning Bolt thing where you get bolted for each creature when when they yeah, have Forest Walk, and then the Peace Sign of Gaia. Um, I'm playing Mono Green. Very few artifacts. Um, the the MVP of my deck has been Primal Order yeah. because there's a there's a lot of people playing. Uh, uh, non-basic lands. I'm playing a couple of them, but I figure they're going to be more damaged than I am. Yeah, it was hitting me for, what, five, six a turn or something like that? Yeah. So I, I've been using my land destruction to take out basics to force them to play more uh, non-basics. Yeah, I'm on all five colors, so I had all the duels, and that thing was <laughs> that thing was wrecking me. Yeah. You also have the tech of... Uh, What's that card that gives them all, gives everything Forest Walk? That's I've uh, got Hidden Path. Hidden Path, yeah, because it gives uh, everything Forest Walk, right? Yeah, so that gives all green creatures Forest Walk. And I figure I have a couple creatures that are big, like I've got some Lurgoifs. So I can just bolt myself each time, uh, but they have to deal with it. And they can't attack me with all their little things. Uh, I've also got some tech for the Hidden Path. If they're playing non-green creatures, I've got a Life Lace. No one's ever played that oh, in nice. the history of Magic. Life Lace, that's a good so one. So I can Life Lace their guy to make it green. Make it green, give it Forest give Walk. It forest walk <laughs> and then they take the three damage. Yeah. That's sick, dude. I like that tech. That is nice. <laughs> Very good, yeah. Um, My deck's about 100 cards. I don't remember exactly. It's fitting in the 100 plus deck box, so yeah. you're, you're close. Um, I also played the Urnum Gins because of the Gaia's Thorns. I figure is not a drawback anymore. No, yeah, Urn Gin and Thorns is pretty solid. I think you and Ben are the only ones playing that. I, okay, that's a good, that's a good tech. Yeah, I, I this is a r weird format because it's no for, no uh, sideboard. So I was, I have a lot of one ofs in my deck 
because I didn't know what else to do. So I've got one floral spasm, one uh, let's see, one force of nature, two gorilla chieftains. Like just, I mean, it's just all garbage. But <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was. Uh, I mean, I was moaning worse than me when we played because that damn blue one that when you roll a one, you, you counter the spell. That I mean. God, you you I, got counted three or four times in a row. Yeah, like four straight. Yeah. <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, the last game, I, I did okay uh, on that, but my it just the deck didn't wasn't happening. I was too far behind. Man. That was that was rough. Okay. And then yeah, we we milled. You know, I was milling twenty, and then you played the Lord Grief, and he was massive. Yeah, yeah I, that's that's good tech too. He was like twenty something. He was twenty something. Twenty something. He, yeah. You just probably need to figure out what that was because there's a prize for that. Yeah, yeah, it was around, tw- it was a little over 20, anyhow. Yeah, it's, it's like 24, 25, I think. Eric might have me Eric beat Eric might have me beat because he's running a 260-card deck and yeah. milling the crap out of it, but uh, that's still that's respectable. Yeah, and then... The other thing I'm playing a lot of is I'm playing four Void Fates. To, okay. To, I, haven't yep. got, I haven't hardly drawn any of them, but I'm hoping that it matters at some point. So Void Fate was like the, uh, that was kind of the trap card of our first... When we were all just straight mono green. Okay. There's almost there's nothing. nothing. There's a, like, almost nothing to target. Yeah. Because everything is a, a sorcery or you know there's or non-targeted, and everyone ran a void fate and we're like, why? We're gonna, you know, like I guess you're bez- like berserk your creature or something like that. But mm-hmm. uh, without I, I'm running swords and like I was definitely I was digging for a sword to plowshare, here, so that would have been perfect for. You. That goy, if I was just gonna swords him away, and uh, yes, yeah, so that, that would have paid off. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Well, I'm glad to have you on the pod. So you you said you haven't played in like two years, so it's been about a year. Yeah. About a year, and you come to this event, so that's good. We get you out. And... Yeah, I I love being on the the text thread. I mean, you guys, it's one of those active ones on my phone, and I it, it really keeps me like kind of involved in magic, which I've been since I was uh, 12. Yeah. So it's it's nice to just kind of see people talking about it because most of my I only have a couple friends that actively play. Yeah, usually. So, so being or, involved in this is, is nice. Once a day or every other day that somebody starts some random ass thing or finds something cool. It's a cool text thread. I gotta I gotta update it because the, the freaking iPhone is maxing out at 20. And, yeah, there's two of them there's going. There's two of them both and it's quite annoying. Well, I gotta fix that. There's a few people we can cut, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna have to just make a new one and, and put the the core people that care because we tried Facebook Messenger we and got the Slack Discord. and Discord and it's just hard to beat a damn text message sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll get you on the next uh, next round of. of <laughs> <laughs> there's people on there that haven't talked in like forever I know. like like AJ is yeah. a, he's on there you never hear anything from him I hear oh yeah he signed up for Thresh Bash I'm like I didn't know the guy was alive I haven't heard from him in like a year <laughs> he's in you're like uh, the, the, you know Brandon you never hear from him he's just like, oh yeah I was reading that you're like it's uh it's a it's a good time yeah I think this is a, a great group because I just don't have enough time to play I can't keep up with current magic and this is the stuff I use as a kid, so I love it. And the metagame doesn't change much, but it's still fun. <laughs> well, maybe you can talk the family into doing our, our draft league. We could. We, we still got a couple sealed kits for uh, a couple starters. Jonathan hasn't okay. cracked his yet, but uh, okay. Um, I'll, uh, we're getting I'll together next get Thursday, but he said he can't make that one. So maybe the one after that you could. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll share it on there. But yeah, I'll it's it's a blast because we're uh, next time around we're gonna roll out. We're gonna debut uh, the dark and uh, antiquities. So we okay. haven't had those available. Okay. Um, my deck sucks. <laughs> I'm. It's so bad. It's like I got two balances and that's it. It's just like losing every every game I play. I lose. So I've, I've lost so many anti cards. These other guys are killing it. But whatever. That's the point of it. So. Okay. All right, man. Well, we'll uh, listen for you on the next pod. You'll be a new celebrity. Signing autographs in your time. <laughs> All right. There we are. There we are. All right. All right. We're talking to the podcast. Okay. So, yeah, we didn't quite get everyone interviewed. Yeah, that's right. We're wrapping up. All right, Eric won. Jason got second? Yep. Yeah. I got and fake second. Ben got fake got second. Fake second. <laughs> fake second. All right. I got fake, fake, fake third. Fake third. We, we had a little confusion there, but hey, shit happens. 
what was uh what worked the best today? I mean, Eric just did a solid. I beat. Him. I mean, he I just, beat him. He just ran a good solid hundred spitting slugs, <laughs> and that's that's hard to deal with. Ben, you had the the plan I was thinking of. You ran Reanimator. What, what I, was what all was in that thing? Well, I mean, like a lot of bad creatures, of course. Crawl giants, scaled worms, a crawl worm. Master of the hunt that never got used. Urnums. Oh, uh, sad. Because because the urnums, urnums with the forest walk blessing were really good. Yeah, they, yep, they, they were solid. really really good. Um, what else did I run in there? Oh, some deep spawns, some modis. So I ran blue, black, uh, green. Um, what I would have done differently if I had thought about it was play the millstone one where you mill, and I would have definitely played that. Maybe the red. You didn't have the millstone. I did not play it. Because I was afraid that everybody would be playing it and that I'd be milling 20. You're right. And that I would have you to make just run out. Because how big deck. was your deck? Your deck was only, only like 70. 110 cards. Oh, 110. All right, so I good, thought though. that I might mill myself. So I decided not to go that route. But I probably, like hindsight, probably should have played that. That would have made a bit of difference. But the, the deck I lost to was, uh, was a Black Vice Storm um, Seeker deck that I lost. The two games I lost, I lost in like a combined four or five turns. So, not a whole lot I could have done differently in those. I think yes. one of my lost in three turns. Stormseeker so. was brutal today. Yeah, yeah, that's the one that got me fucking wrecked me. Yeah, I would have wrecked you, but you had fucking death grip. Yeah, I see, and I can't, you can't play a green spell with, with two blacks. So that was you were your deck was fairly tight. How many? What was your deck? 80, 90 cards. It was a hundred cards. Hundred cards. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, Jason, uh, second place was pretty good with the uh, the death grip. What was that alliances one? Counter a spell, search my hand. Oh, uh, ah. fucking sigil of Leshrac. God, never heard of that card. So it's like the same New as spoiler. death grip, except you can choose one of the cards in the opponent's hand, make them discard it whenever they cast a green card. Nobody should ever play that. But yeah, so that was well, good. Game one, I was I, like, I had balance, and I. I could have just kept like stalling out, but anything I would have played, you would have taken the balance out of my hand. I was screwed. Yep. I couldn't do it, and I was, I was digging for a yep. damn uh, wood elemental, so I could sack all my lands and then balance all your shit. And then yeah. you blew up my diamond valley, so I couldn't get rid of my creatures. It was it was rough, dude. Ballads are legit. You can fucking uh, ballads suck a dick. It was that. It was the damn death grip that no. got me. I, I didn't beat it. Four it is four flower, four dude. Flowers, it just, it just fucking flowers. draws okay, everything I think, out. I think spore flower. I could have trackered the hell out of your deck, but it wasn't any point because you're gonna counter everything. Yeah, I think spore flower uh, fungal bloom with Aurora is an actual deck. Oh yeah. For sure. 100%. I think it's a good deck. Oh, I already grabbed one. I got one. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I think it's an actual deck for sure. All right, if we ran this again right now, what, what deck would you play? I would have played Dreams. I That was the deck I was initially going to play, but I some of the blessings were confusing. I didn't ask qualifying questions. Right, so. <laughs> I what? thought I thought what? the I thought the red one meant I couldn't have red mana in my mana pool, meaning I couldn't have red sources if I had green sources. Which and no. I was like, well, Carpusian Forest is a workaround, but that seems really awkward. So initially, I was gonna run blue, black, red, green. But you're with, thinking you uh, couldn't have a forest and I was a like, mountain winds on of the change, dreams, uh, dis diminishing returns. You know the blue draw stuff, and then. Black for Dreams, Dark Ritual, and Abyss, basically, in Demonic Tutor. I was going to run that, and then I audibled to this, because this looked funner, because I actually got to play Scaled Worm, which I don't think I've ever cast a Scaled Worm <laughs> in a long time, so that was fun. Yeah, Scaled Worm's legit, but... Crawl Giant, it... Crawl Giant was actually decent. You ever trigger a Rampage? No one ever has. Yeah, actually, no. No, I no. Was say, no one's uh, ever done that. Eric almost did, and then he's like, oh, that's right, I shouldn't do that. I was like, yeah, duh, duh, shouldn't do that. Nah, the ability no one's ever used, Rampage. The, I mean, the the fun part about my deck was being able to play Reanimator. The bad part about my deck was when people were trying to block and then, like, didn't know what to block. And then they are like, well, I'm blocking here. I'm like, no, you can't. he can't be over here and over here. you got to pick one. And it was just a lot of, very, a lot of confusion. But I did swing for, like, 30-plus a couple of times, which was fun, with no Berserks or anything, so. I guess the bigger controversy is the knife throwing. Is that right? So well, yeah, so. it was. I mean, both me and Jason had kill shots, 
but it's like, what did you consider the better kill shot? Because there, there was, what, a, a backwards shot through an eye socket, right? Yeah. But that was the back end of the knife. Yeah. yeah. And you had the front end of the knife in the throat. Yeah. I mean, they were both kill shots. I think Jason's would have dropped the guy instantly. A guy, but the only problem is zombies, you got to get them in the brain, dude. That's true. That is true. So That's I true. think the handle through the eye socket's... Maybe the which zombie is, shot. Which he, he, he did win. Then. Which that's what we call. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. All right. That's good. I guess the right way to go. I mean, mainly, these mainly are... because the Ashling came out in Jason and he, like, whipped out his, like, bow skills. These are fucking actually... Legolas over here. <laughs> these are actually the important things to talk about. Is yeah. Who won yeah. the knife throwing and the archery? That's right. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I. I mean, I won a match an axe throwing, and I'd never thrown an axe in my entire life. So that that's was pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, I think the I think the winner of the day is the Gonster. The Gonster. Like, yeah. These things are they're, delicious. They're, they're, they're not bad. bad. I had yeah. four Gonsters total, which is uh, Brian's one, fucking heart's been exploding. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Gonster. It's so I good. The first time I walked in, I had a Gonster, and I had to play my game within like twenty minutes. Because I was late. Well, people uh, can't. Well, people can't see like through the podcast is like uh, like Brian's actually flying right now because he's had. Honestly, I'm a little concerned yeah, that I'm not more rotating. messed up by it that it well, was kind of like just another day for me. Have you seen, <laughs> have you seen <laughs> the fact that I? Part? But that was, that, I had a I had an energy drink this morning. That's five energy drinks I had today and like yeah. twelve beers, and I'm. Good. I, can, I mean, it's the spectral clock. I can't can do it. I can use just floating. Yeah, I can use floating above. For two blue. That's what you're doing right now. If you've seen the, the flying card I had from vacation, you'd know. That's me. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to post that on the fucking... Oh, we talked about that last time. Yeah. Oh, did yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We oh, you guys must have talked You weren't about there. It. Yeah. You were, you were out getting COVID. <laughs> yeah, I was getting COVID. <laughs> you were busy catching COVID, missed the, those missed the podcast. Yeah, a bunch of hippies. Yeah, a bunch of hippies got bunch you. Of dirty hippies. Yeah. But I kn- the new table was good. Um, yeah, no one sat at the old shitty nice. ones for whatever no, reason. Yeah, the new table was yeah. great. The new table was great. Those old tables, like my back fucked up for weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty sitting bad. on the actual log was tough. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. I actually threw away the one that was over there. It was so bad. <laughs> like that is not something to not sit on. So it. yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll use the uh, the meat hall again for something else. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll do this it in the middle of winter. Yeah, it'd be funny, right? So, yeah, so the scary. question is, which was the better event? The one where we had the wheel? Uh, or the, wheel the one great. where the we had cool. this? Well, you mean the first one we had the wheel? Yeah, the first one we had the yeah. wheel at that one. Yeah. 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 I mean, that was fun. I, that was I liked fun. this. I mean, again, like typical me building a deck is I always see the glimmers of what could have happened but didn't. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. always seeing like... Shit, I was so close. They, do they know what if the Wheel I, of Fortune looks like that you made? Well, that was our very first podcast. Was the original? Okay. Yeah. Because that, that, um, that, if you don't know, you should go back and listen. Because the Wheel of Fortune was at Battle of Ohio, and I've never seen a room full of people that are going nowhere. By the way, that are staying the night. Let's, let's get that out of the way. Never seen a group of people just more past the point <laughs> that I've ever seen any of them collectively. It was like everyone is here. Everyone is above here. Because it was wild. It was good, yeah. I mean, it was a that well, damn wheel gets so much use. My wife constantly uses it for the school and stuff. She's like, oh my where'd God, you put seriously? the wheel? You know, like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm freaking using it. And I'm like, where the hell's the damn wheel? Well, well, what are we doing the cup for, yeah. guys? What are yeah. you doing the cup for? Bunch of, bunch of middle I'm, schoolers uh, doing shots. You made a snack! <laughs> <laughs> and at one point, I had like nailed on all the stuff, like the heart and the knife yeah, and all that. Yeah. So I had to peel all that back off so she could take it back to the school yeah, and I give out gift cards. Yeah, yeah, it's the wheel's been through some stuff, but yeah, the wheel, the wheel's hilarious. I gave away my cash booth finally. I had a cash booth I built, and I got so sick of setting that thing up and taking it down. It was pretty cool, but uh, I gave it to the school, so I didn't have to screw with it anymore. So I might give that wheel away one of these days, but it, it's it's kind of handy. All right, well, hey, good uh, good event, good event, we'll, uh, it's super fun. If you can put your photos in the uh, oh, Discord yeah. or something, and I'll be able to. Yeah, always a good, always share them with man. folks. Was there yeah. any completely busted uh, blessings? Um, I hate I, that. I blue. actually thought the blue one was pretty nuts. The blue one. I did. I did not think one. the blue one was as bad as people thought it was. Yeah, people, I thought it was. Screw great. you, dude. I, 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 I mean, I had a 60, 70 really. percent counter rate on that thing. <laughs> well, I also <laughs> which is I crazy. Had an, uh, Amazon, you can buy dyes that don't roll on a one. Oh, I, I should have thought about that. I should have thought about that. 
But no, it, no, I didn't think it was as bad as people thought it was. I thought the, uh, I don't know about the white one. The white one seemed really bad. I, I was, I ran the white one several times. I was able to work around. It. Everyone just kept playing lands. Yeah, I just couldn't yeah. go first. So I, I was, was going to be able to make it. So yeah, that, that's, like, I didn't even yeah, that's, like, like when I was looking at the blessings, it was like, okay, I got like some BS green stompy deck. I'm just going to throw all the crap that, together, that and then it's like, all right, what? Yeah, what blessings well, make sense? Well, Jonathan was smart, so he he won and got to choose. So he chose for me to go first, and I got the white thing, so I can't play a land. So I do oh, nothing. See, then yeah. he draws his cards oh, and then starts enough. playing. Yeah, so it, it's like smart. you know, you get to go first and draw cards, and that was really good. I I would even like the. I think it'd actually be really fun to play a tournament where you have blessings and maybe either you can even make them randomized to some degree. Like everyone starts, or you can roll for them or something, and then you get one randomly. But everyone's playing like normal decks. I think that'd be fun. That'd be kind of cool. Just to see, like, kind of like the uh, Vanguard cards were back in the day. Something yeah, yeah. Happened. Love those things. Yeah. But like, either you could either have people pick one, or you like every round, like you, you have like one of all. You make you can make them, and then basically you roll, and then whatever number you get, that's the one you get. So it's randomly assigned. So there's no like. You pick the best one if, it, if that makes sense. We'll I get, think that'd be fun. We'll get an AI to just tell us what you got to deal with this turn or something. Yeah, like yeah man. No, because good. I think I think like that stuff is fun because I think it allows people because if you allow people to build decks around things, sometimes that's where things break. But yeah. I think also if you randomize it, that's where it kind of just allows it wherever. But yeah, watch out for AI, man. Though. You could do it, and it's like, this round, everyone plays with no pants on. This is true, but, I mean, Skynet, hey, Skynet will get you. Exactly. Skynet told us we got to do it. Yeah. Okay. We're At least we're in the around. woods. Watch out for the mosquitoes. Yeah. All right, well, my neighbors think I'm a strange guy at this point. <laughs> All right. Good event. Good event. Good event. Good event. All right. Stop
Show them who is boss. 